So here I want to demonstrate the use of the prompt to take uh, input from the user. So typically what, you, what we're going to be doing is we want to have input from the user, usually from an HTML form. Uh, that's going to be the primary way. But prompt will be an easy way for us to accept uh, uh, user input until we learn how to connect HTML forms with our JavaScript. So here um, we create our variables on line one and two. On lines four and five, we have username and user state. And those are just accepting our data. And then on line seven, we output it just to basically verify that it's all working. So I'll save this up. And let's go ahead and check this out in our browser. So the prompt brings up a uh, similar to an alert. It just says, enter your name. And then there's a text field here. So then the user could type their name. And we'll say, Hank Wilson. And then it should ask for our state. Enter your state. And then we'll say, Oregon. And then I hit OK. And then the output is, greetings, Hank Wilson. You are from Oregon. So as you can see, that's what we have here working correctly. We have our string. And then we have the variable username, which is what the user is typed in to that uh, prompt. The prompts are fairly simple. There's, an, there's two arguments here. Um, one is the text that appears to the user. There's another argument that you'll often see with prompts. So I'll have a comma here. And then what it can be is um, a default text. So you could have the word name in here if that's not too confusing for someone. And then a uh, comma, and then the word state, if that's, again, not too confusing. So that's just a placeholder. Um, so let me go ahead and refresh this just to show you how that's working. So see how I have the two arguments, enter your name, and then name is going to be a default. So enter your name, and then you see that now it has the word name in here as that second argument. And so I'll change that to Jim. And Jim is going to be from... Nevada. Right. Greetings, Jim. You are from Nevada. Okay, so far so good. Now, I'm going to take these out for now, but I just wanted to introduce that to you so you know that there are two arguments with the prompts. Okay, uh, let's say that we want to convert the user's name to lowercase for whatever reason. So one way to do this is on line seven, I'll say username equals, and then I'll say user name dot and there's this method called to lower case and what that does is it converts username to lowercase and so that would execute on this one line in order to make it permanently stored you want to load it into a variable here it just makes sense to load it back into our username variable so now if we test this let me actually clear this one out okay so to make the point I'll type Wilma in all uppercase so we can verify that it's working. And Wilma is going to be from New York. Greetings, Wilma. Notice that's lowercase. You are from New York. So just noting that you can accept the user input using these prompts. You can perform methods um, and uh, checking on these with conditionals and, and so forth. And then we can output our data.